Good morning. Today is Friday, January 28th, 2022, and it is day number 20 of my 21-day water fast. Yesterday, my weight was 197.6 pounds, and today I am at 196.6 pounds. So I have lost one pound since yesterday and a total weight loss of 22.4 pounds. This week, um, I've been basically losing like four tenths of a pound for the past few days. And my one pound weight loss today actually does not surprise me. Um, and the reason why is that I've started to notice a little bit of a trend when I've had big weight loss days, usually the day before involved me carrying around something heavy or moving around something heavy. And yesterday was no different. I ordered groceries and had them delivered to my office. And at the end of the day, I had to carry those groceries. It was two very heavy bags, one in each hand. I carried those bags from my office to the car and then when I got home, I came in through the back door, so I had to carry those groceries up a flight of stairs to get to the kitchen. And yesterday, I probably exerted less than five minutes, not even that. I have no idea. It was probably like three minutes total. I wish I had timed it, but I exerted little to no time carrying those heavy groceries and it paid off in like huge dividends. And so I am really impressed, especially considering the fact that I spent most of my day yesterday sitting at my desk at work. And then when I came home, I spent the rest of the evening lying on the couch. And the fact that I did hardly anything except carry two bags of groceries and I still lost a pound, uh, that really, says so much. So I am definitely um, very much interested in nutrition and weight loss and I may not necessarily put anything that I read into practice but I am very much interested in reading on these subjects and I have been reading for years about the importance of weight training um, especially um, when you're trying to lose weight and it has never registered to me how um, the importance of weight training until I've actually seen the effects for myself and I like yesterday basically sealed the deal I am definitely a believer in the importance of weight training and it's so amazing that such little effort can create like huge results and I am definitely a believer now and for the past uh, few weeks of this fasting um, journey that I've been on I have been threatening to use my kettlebells I have two 15 pound kettlebells that I've uh, keep saying that I'm going to use and incorporate into my regimen and I haven't really gotten around to using them. Um, I've used them very sparingly during this fast. And I am seriously considering making kettlebell like training my only form of exercise that I do. And so right now I'm in the process of like looking at YouTube videos because um, I'm trying to find a really good beginner kettlebell training video that I could do. And so I, if I am just really happy um, about this like new discovery, well, it's new to me um, because I will be honest with you, I do not like um, exercise at all. Um, the only reason I do it is in the hopes of losing weight. And I have seen over the years that weight loss really hasn't done anything for me in terms of weight loss. Um, so let me give you an example. Um, I've mentioned several times um, that last year I was walking 20,000 steps a day and I did that probably for about 90 days straight. 
and I did not lose a thing, not one pound. I maintained um, my weight, and, but I spent maybe about three to four hours a day trying to get those steps in and um, nothing. But then I can do like kettlebell, like training for like three minutes and like lose some weight. That's, that's impressive. It really is impressive to me. And so I just wanted to tell you this story. I just wanted to let you know that um, weight, weight training requires little effort, but it pays like huge results. And I think this might be the way to go for me. And um, once I get my strength back, I still want to do yoga because um, I think I might have mentioned that I really don't do yoga for its physical benefits. I do it for the mental and spiritual benefits that I get. And so once I get my strength back, I will definitely um, try to bring yoga back into my daily life. But um, something that I can do every day, um, I think, would be... Um, using the weights, the kettlebells, and I'm just really, really impressed by the results that I can achieve with such little effort. And I just wish I had listened to um, the advice that I had been reading about a lot sooner because maybe things would be a little bit different for me. But anyways, I have to learn at my own pace and I have to learn through my own firsthand experience. And um, this has really opened up my eyes and I'm really excited about it. And I just so excited to share it with you guys. If you haven't tried weight training, then I think you should like consider um, giving it a try. So anyways, that is my video for today. I will be back tomorrow on day number 21 of my water fast. I cannot believe that like 21 days is almost here. And if I am going to continue on with my fast, I'm going to have to make some changes. And so I think I will discuss what those changes will be tomorrow in my next video. Anyways, have an amazing Friday and I will see you tomorrow on day number 21. Take care. Bye.